If you like a wide beaded bracelet made with sparkly glass bicons, then just keep watching because today's tutorial shows you how to make one fast and easy. And here we have this lovely cuff bracelet that is made with two rows of flowers. We can make with three or four if we have enough beads. I am going to use six millimeter bicons, 11 O's for the seed bead that are on the side. For the seed bead at the middle of the beads of the flowers, I am going to use 10O or 9O. So um, they allow the beads to sit nicely instead of uh, being one on top of the other if we use smaller seed beads. Uh, I am going to use again for the clasp, a toggle clasp. And in my previous um, tutorial where I show you to make a narrow bracelet, I am uh, going in depth about how to uh, measure the length of the clasp so you can determine how long you are going to bead for a bracelet of your choice. So check out that uh, previous tutorial to find out exactly the, de the minute details. Let's make our, let's call diagram, for the two rows. So here we have the first flower here connected with the second flower. And we start to pick up the beads in this direction and then when we go back we will have to go first up like this then with a connector bead here, we create one branch. We come down to reinforce and in the same time complete with the second, the final branch. And this is the unit, the starting unit. So for the first row we pick up the 11O bicone 9O bicone 9O bicone 9O bicone and 11O. We leave a tail, skip the 11 O, and go back up through the bicones and the 9 O's in between. Come out through the last bicone and then end the seed bead, skip the seed bead and go back down. Okay. Here to start the next branch 
we go back up through the bicone and the first 9 -0. We pick up bicone, 90 bicone, skip the next and connect from bottom up with the next 90. Now we create the last top branch by picking up one bicone 111 0 then skip the bicone go uh, the 11 0 go through the bicone the 90 and the beads that we have just added in the previous step and we move the thread here in the last 9 of the previous row. Make sure that the thread is well tensioned and here we just create the last branch or petal, whatever you want to call it. Skip the 11 go back through the bicone and now we go back up and reinforce and come out here. Because we work with bicones, uh, glass bicones, 6 millimeters, they are quite heavy, I would advise you to reinforce before going to the next step. We move the thread to come out of the edge. 11 0 and now we are ready to continue with the repeating sequence that gives us the length of the bracelet and we just follow the pattern so obviously here we will need to add bicone 9 0 bicone and connect with this one And here again, bicone, 90, bicone, and connect with the 110 on the side, on the edge of the bracelet. Go back through the bicone and all the beads that we have just added. And this way we reinforce in the same time. Okay. Go back up the bicone, the eleven O, and then Move the thread through the bicone and the 9 0. And we are ready for the second row of the flower. And we pick up bicone, 9 0 bicone. Connect. 
let's keep on connect with the next one we make the petal or the branch I think it's a petal if this is a flower go back through the bicone through the beads that we have just added with the thread coming out the last 9O here and it's time to create the other petal by adding bicone 11O go back through the bicone drop the bicone skip 11 0 through the bicone and back up to reinforce And this is the unit we repeat in order to have the length. Let's make one more unit together. And now we reinforce. And here we have the second row of our repeating unit the first branch or petal go back up to reinforce And the second, the final branch. And one reinforcement. And here you are. As you see, this is a very, very, very fast way of creating a beautiful bracelet. When you have finished the length that you need, we add the clasp. Let's have, for instance, here, this side of the clasp where we have the bar and we have the closed ring that will be attached to the bracelet then two jump rings and the bar and for this specific uh, width I have decided to 
create this type of uh, ending for the bracelet. Okay. Now I go back following the same thread path. And here I go through the beads that I have just added. I pick up one, two, three, four seed beads. Let's see if it's enough. Uh, I think three is enough, so let's drop that one. Then I go through the closed ring of the bracelet and then I close like this. So here will be the connection. And to make sure that this is strong enough, we go back and reinforce it at least three or four times even. Okay, go back and reinforce again. Good. And when we are happy, we just weave in the thread in the body of the work. And this is how we have the clasp on one side. We repeat the same procedure on the other side and we will get something like this. And the bracelet is going to be connected like this. And here we have our cuff bracelet using this technique that I have just uh, shown you today we can make it wider with one more flower or two more flowers it's really absolutely up to you thank you very much for watching see you with another tutorial